And new tonight, a family is thanking Shelby County first responders after they say they saved their family from a morning fire. WRG's Jessica Knox spoke with the family about that rescue and shares their warning with us tonight. Don't leave skillets on the stove unattended. If you do, make sure you shut them off. Mays Egger says that mistake almost cost him not only his life, but his wife's and grandson. Around one Sunday morning, firefighters were called to Egger's house on a Port Haven Drive in Millington after the report of a fire. As soon as they got here, they rushed on in the house and assisted my wife out. Egger's wife suffered a stroke and is bedridden. She was unable to escape. Three Shelby County Sheriff's deputies quickly entered the smoke-filled house to help her. She do have some rest, breathing problem, you know, so I just want to make sure there wasn't nothing else wrong with him. Egger's wife and the three deputies went to the hospital for smoke inhalation, but have since been released. Investigators say the fire started in the kitchen. There's a, a couple of cabinets over there, so the microwave and the oven, you know, how they do make sure ain't no hot spots and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, of course, that always results in a little additional damage. Thankfully, Edgar and his family will be able to return to their home. They took good care of me. Reporting for your news leader in Millington, I'm Jessica Noss, WREG News Channel 3. Certainly glad they were there to help, and Edgar says his wife, she's now home resting.